Hey, this is Steven from RC Engineering and welcome to my review of the Ultra Power Up 100 AC Plus uh, LiPo charger, a multi, multi battery chemistry charger. Uh, this guy could charge a maximum of 100 watts output and uh, I'm going to go over this guy and explain why I uh, really enjoy using it as uh, my daily driver charger and why I would highly recommend it to anybody that is looking for a multi-chemistry charger uh, that has variable uh, amperage output for um, RC batteries or anything like that. So um, this guy we bought at a local track for um, uh, RC model trucks. It's a clay track. We bought it for like $55-$60. Uh, I looked online. This guy is available for about 50 fifty dollars in China and about sixty dollars in the United States and they also in China they have a sixty dollar model with a touch screen but I would recommend just um, saving that ten dollars and buy extra plugs and just get the buttons so we're gonna go over the features of this guy um, and I'm gonna go over what uh, basically uh, some of his capabilities are I'm going to go over charging and show you guys how loud it is because one of the downsides to this guy and I'm pretty much the only downside I have for it is the uh, the noise it makes when it heats up. So um, let's go ahead and look around this guy and I'm going to go over the features. So here we have a uh, temperature probe that you can put in there for a thermocouple it looks like. Well actually this is, this is like a three wire RTD or something. I don't... Um, it's a three prong and obviously it's got a flat spot there so you just need to look for that plug. I'm not exactly sure if that's a thermocouple or what's going to go in there because normally a thermocouple is only two wires. So that might be some sort of uh, three wire RTD or something. Um, which is basically a thermal re is a, basically a thermal resistor. It might go in here. You're going to have to look up on their website what goes in here. I'm not currently using that, but basically this is a plug to go in there and monitor your battery temp and then have a cutoff of uh, closing the contacts for charging um, and kill the charge if it, the battery gets too hot and you're charging too hot. Uh, PC link to get data and do probably updates and stuff like that. I have not used either of these two. Then you have a 2.1 amp 5 volt USB output for gum stick batteries like the little um, tiny whoops or whatever. And here we have the balance plug for uh, this charger is 2S, 3S, 4S, 5S, and 6S capable. So it can charge all the way up to 24, 25.2 volts. 25.2 volts is a maximum charge. And then over here for your main plug, so this is a ribbon cable here for your balance. You could also put in a balance port to do a parallel charging or a parallel port to do parallel charging of multiple batteries at once. Here's your main connector for your uh, chart for your main power lead. So this is a banana plug. So you get a lot of different plugs. Uh, for this one, I have a Deans, I have an XT60, which is currently on here, and I have a Traxxas. And the next one that I'm going to buy is a JST for my smaller 3S and 2S batteries. So um, over here we have the fan, and then over here we have a portable uh, pack. Sorry, this is just an inlet. fan is over here. So this is for portable uh, field charging. It'll take 11 to 18 volts, and you see it does not take the full uh, 6S volts. It'll only be able to charge on field charge. It'll only be able to charge 5s. So here, um, this is a 3s, 11 volts, about 3s, and 18 volts is uh, about 5s. So uh, you will not uh, most likely be able to charge a 6s in the field with another 6s. You would have to charge a, um, a 5s with a with a 5s and under. Alright, so that is basically it, and some of the specs on the bottom, it just says um, 1.5 amp max, 100 to 240 volt, 50 to 60 hertz. So this will pretty much run in any country, all you have to do is you have to get the right plug for your country, right, the right plug on the uh, wall outlet side, and you could probably get multiple different ones, and you see here AC 100 to 240. 
Then here it says 150 watts in, which is 1.5 volt DC input, 11 to 18 volt, 125 watt max. You can see there, output to 25.2 volt max at 0.1 to 10 amps. So this guy, the maximum output is 10 amps and uh, the max um, for anything. So the higher up, and then uh, the max power is 100 watts. So the higher you go in voltage range, the less, um, the less power you could put to it. So this will limit you the 10 amps, and I think past 4 cell, it will start to drop the amperage, the max amperage that you could put into your um, batteries. So let's go ahead, and I have a battery here, and we're gonna start uh, looking through the menu and see if I could get the fan to turn on so you guys could get the, the volume of this guy. So I plugged it in. Let's go ahead and zoom in. So there we go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the options. Let's go ahead and turn on this light here. Get rid of a little bit of the glare. So um, here, let's go through some of the options. So inside each one, you have a few options for specific chemistry. So here I have LiPo. So I have LiPo, this was balance, which uh, discharges the battery or charges the battery up to 3.7 volts. Uh, LiPo charge, regular charge, fast charge, I don't use that. It's basically the same thing as a regular charge. Um, LiPo storage, discharge, and balance. Balance is balancing all the cells out. So in this case, three cells, balancing all the three cells out, or four cell, or five cell, or six cell. And again, discharge is discharging down to 3.7 volts for storage. Now if we go back, I hit the stop button to go back. We're gonna look at the chemistries. So here we have uh, a lead acid battery, we have nickel, cadmium, we have nickel metal hydride, lipo, lithium ion, or lithium polymer, lithium ion, uh, lyphe, so lithium um, iron, Fe's iron, but I don't think it's actually iron. Um, I'm not exactly sure the chemistry of lyphe. And then lithium high voltage. So this will indeed do a high voltage battery. So it will charge 4.35 volts per cell. So that's pretty cool because I have a uh, a um, Turnigy Bolt version two, which is a high voltage battery. And so I have a four cell and a three cell. I can charge both of those up to the LIHV um, voltage rating. And then here we have some other options and I'll show you guys during, uh, during charging what other options we have. So we're gonna go back over to nickel, um, uh, sorry, lipo. I'll show you guys. Yeah, so pretty much all the settings are the same no matter which, um, no matter which chemistry you pick. So how you set this guy up is you plug in the main connector. This is an EC3, but an EC3 will plug into an XT60. Then you take your, your balance port and you plug it into the corresponding 3 cell, 4 cell, 5 cell, or 6 cell. And then you go ahead and you uh, hit enter. And what will happen is your, your amperage will flash. And then I'm going to change it to like, like 5 amps because I want to trigger the uh, fan really quickly. So I'm going to hit enter again and then it's going to go to ask me how many cells. Right now I have 3 cell. So 3 cell, 4 cell, 5 cell, and 6 cell. And then all the way back to one cell. So I'm gonna I'm gonna press again, and it will get rid of everything. Nothing selected. Now a we'll long press. It'll check the battery. Battery is good. Confirm. I hit enter, and now we're at the charging screen. So here we have a lithium polymer three cell, and you'll see that the amperage will start to ramp up. And here is my current cell voltage total total voltage. Here is a, oh, I accidentally selected storage charge. Sorry about that. Sorry, so now it says charge. And here's the duration of the charge. And here is the milliamp hour that has been put onto the battery. So if you hit the plus sign, you'll look at each cell. So this goes all the way up to six cell. We have 3.92 on one cell, 3.94 on one cell, and three point. 96 on another cell. So then if I hit back, it'll say that the cutoff voltage is 12.60 volts, which is three cells. So um, 4.2 times three is 
than in power voltage right now the right now the charger is putting 15.21 volts towards this pack through the uh, through the EC3 and here it would be where your temps are if you have the temperature probe installed and here is the cutoff temp for um, if the temperature gets too high when to cut off and then safety timer after 120 minutes it'll shut everything off and then also over 5000 milliamp hour it'll automatically shut off and so now we have 63 milliamps, 65 milliamps put in one minute and we're at 5 amps uh, we have yet to have the fan trigger but uh, we only have a minute left of recording so um, I really enjoy this charger. I would definitely uh, pick one up. It's super portable, super small. Um, probably work decently well for a field charger. I mean, you can get smaller ones, but for this price range, it's a pretty good deal. And 100 watts has been perfect for me. Um, obviously, you want to have this guy if you don't have so many similar batteries and you only have a few batteries to charge at a time. Otherwise, you might want to go with a dual port which Ultra Power does sell those, but uh, this is a great all-around charger. So that's pretty much it for this review. Uh, thanks you guys for watching, and go ahead and look to purchase this guy uh, wherever you can for the best price. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Peace.